Hello class, today we're gonna to talk about volume of pyramids and cones. Well, there are three basic shapes that we need to understand and know about, and that is one, a rectangular pyramid, two, a triangular pyramid, and three, a cone. So what we need to know, it says down here in the bottom, it says a pyramid is a three-dimensional figure whose base is a polygon. Okay, so in this particular one, we have a square pyramid, basically. So we call it a rectangular pyramid or another name is square pyramid. These are like the pyramids in, uh, in Egypt. Then you also have a triangular pyramid. Okay, so this base is a triangle. And then you have a cone, which has a circle base. Okay, and we know that with a cone, it's not a polygon, right? So a pyramid is a three-dimensional figure whose base is a polygon, and all the other faces are triangles. So that will become very important whenever we deal with surface area. It is named for the shape of its base. The cone has a circle base or a circular base. The height of a pyramid or a cone is measured from the highest point to the base along a perpendicular line. So as I've defined before, this height is always going to be drawn from the base to the farthest point away from the base. And in this particular one, it will actually drop right down to the center because that's where the highest point will be. Same thing on every one of these shapes. It's always going to be there to the center of that particular base. Okay, so how do I find the volume of a pyramid? Well, if we have a prism, we know the volume of a prism is volume is equal to capital BH. So for our prism, we know it's volume is equal to capital BH. Well, believe it or not, this pyramid right here is actually only one third that of the base. So we could actually fit three of these pyramids that have this size base and this height into a prism that has the same base and the same height. So in order to find its volume, we just find the volume of the prism, its parent figure, and we just divide it by three or we take one third of it. We do the same thing with the cone. One third capital BH or one third pi r squared because it's a circle times how tall it is. So let's see if we can do a few questions. Here's the first one. Now this one is a rectangular pyramid. Okay, so we start off with the formula V equals one third or over, divide by three capital B H. So you could write this as well like we did the triangles just do a divide by three. But you have to remember to do the divide by three at the end. So in this particular one, we have a rectangular base. So we would have one third, and then inside this capital B, we would plug in our rectangle formula. So length times width times height. So now we plug in our information, knowing that the L and W are working with the base. Okay, so we've got one third times nine times seven times and then the height is this distance right here, the distance from the center of the base to the farthest point away from it, which is eight. So now what we have to do is we go to our calculator, okay, and we multiply nine times seven times eight equals, so the prism that contains this pyramid would be 504 cubic feet, okay? But I need to divide that by three because we are looking at a pyramid. So I do divide by three, and you find out that the volume is equal to 168 feet cubed. Okay, so we first multiply these together and then we just divide it by three. Okay, now one of the things that you could think about, okay, to make things easier is think about all these as fractions. Then with this one third or having that three on the bottom, I can simplify any bottom number with any top number. So this three and this nine could simplify into a one and a three. And then I can multiply those together and you will end up with the same answer. Okay, so what if I have a triangular pyramid? Okay, now what kind of a base does the triangular pyramid have? Well, it has a triangle base. So we start off with our same formula, one third capital B H, but this time inside our capital B here, we're gonna plug our triangle formula, which is base times height divided by two. And then we multiply that by the depth of the figure, okay, or the distance from the base to the farthest point away. But this is just referring to the triangle itself, okay? So that base times height is just talking about that triangle right there, okay? So that's what we're looking for. So what is the base and height of that triangle? Well, volume is equal to one third. Well, the base of that triangle is the 12, right? So I'd put in 12 times, well, the height of that triangle is this one right here. That is our height. 
All right, so that's 23. And I'm going to divide that by 2. That will give me my triangle. And then I'm going to multiply by the overall height of the figure, which is the 17. Okay, so now in order to do this one in the calculator, I start with the 12 and the 23. So 12 times 23 equals. Then we're going to divide it by 2. Divide by 2 equals. Then I'm going to take that and I'm going to multiply it by 17. So times 17 equals. And then last but not least, we're going to take one third of it or divide that by 3. And that would end up being divided by 3 and you end up with 782 yards cubed. Okay, so when you have a triangular pyramid, you look at just the triangle part first. Find its area, multiply by how tall it is. That gives us the triangular prism. And now because it's a pyramid, we divide it by 3 and that gets us our volume. Now a cone, we do the same exact thing. The same way. Okay, in this one, we start off with volume is equal to one third, capital BH. Volume is equal to one third, but this time our base is a circle. So we plug in pi r squared into our capital B times our H. Okay, so one third times 3.14 times. Now we look for the radius of the circle. Now we need to remember the radius is halfway across. So what's been given here is the radius. So we do 7 times 7, because it does say take the squ or square it. And then I multiply that by the distance between the, the base and the farthest point away, which is the 8. So we do the same thing. 3.14 times 7 times 7 times 8 equals. And then we divide that by 3 equals. Okay, now this one, okay, it is an ugly answer. So we are going to round to the nearest tenth. So we end up with 410.293 repeating. Okay, so that means that we got to round this to 410 point. Now this nine, it's going to bump that two to a three. So 410.3, in this case, millimeters cubed. Okay, so it's all still the same thing. It's always just area of the base times how tall it is. But for a pyramid or a cone, we're going to divide by three. So let me give you a challenge problem. Let's see how you do. The Great Pyramid of Giza is a square pyramid. Its height is 481 feet and its base has 756 foot sides. Find the volume of the pyramid. So in essence, this is what it says. This distance right here, of this pyramid, is 756 feet. Right? This one here is also 756 feet. So all the way around is 756. Okay, the distance from here down to the center of that base, all the way down to the center, okay, underneath there, okay, is 481 feet. So what I want you to do is pause the video and find the volume of the pyramid in Giza. Okay, let's find out how you did. So volume equals one third capital BH. Volume is equal to one third. Well, our capital B is a square. So that's length times width times the height. So volume is equal to one third times. Well, the length is 756. The width is also 756. And the height is 481. So now we turn to our calculator and do 756 times 756 times 481 equals divided by 3 equals. So the volume of this great pyramid is 916362272 feet cubed, which is 91,636,272 cubic feet. So to review, to find the volume of a pyramid or a cone, you find the volume of its parent shape, which is the prism or the cylinder, and you just divide it by three, or you take one third of it. And that's how you find volume of a pyramid 